Hey you guys, so I don't know why but today I just felt like putting on extra jewelry. I have on my joker. This is from New York and Company. Um, and then I have in a random faux um, septum piercing that my friend gave me a long time ago. I just felt like putting it on. And then I got these crazy earrings that I wore for prom. I just want to, I don't know, this is extra though. This is not part of the earring. I just had to find some extra earrings. But um, did my hair in a bun, you know, it's a special occasion. I'm about to show y'all, I had to grab my phone. I'm about to show y'all the look that I am about to create. Um, people also love this look. I'm trying to catch up on looks that I've done and put on Facebook or put on Snapchat or Instagram that people keep asking me to post, but I just haven't done any videos of them on YouTube. So I'm trying to like, you know, catch up and try to do all of these looks um, before I forget. So basically... This is the look that we're going to be doing today. And this was um, basically inspired by this one woman. I don't remember her Instagram, but I have a picture of her. And mine is not as dark as hers, but she looked absolutely stunning. And I was like, be. I was like, be. I got to like do this. Like, she looked just amazing. So I'm gonna show you after I find them through all my Facebook photos. It's inspired by this gorgeous look. She's stunning. My look is not as dark as hers. It's very hard. Very hard to blend and do all that gorgeous work. And then, you know, <laughs> you have to blend a lot and it has to be high and I just didn't know what color to use after that because I've only got so many pinks and reds. So I was just, you know, using what I had and just trying to blend as much as I could. And I want to kind of show you guys how I got that look. So if you want to see the look, stay tuned. All right, let's, let's get started. So I'm gonna use my coconut oil. And then I already did my brows off camera, but I did set my eyes with um, banana powder from the Ruby Kisses Contour Palette in the color deep, no, medium to deep, I think. So now I'm gonna take my 35B palette and I'm gonna use like a rosy color, rosy pink color in it. And then I'm going to smoke out and blend my crease and you kind of want to have it really blended out because this is going to be your transition color and the eye look is going to be pretty high um so yeah and then i'm going to take my la girl uh glam blush and highlight powder i think it's called um but basically i'm going to take the pinks and i'm also going to use those um to blend my crease both of the blushes. So then I'm gonna go back into my 35B and I'm going to use that hot pink color and I'm going to put it um, a little on my crease more um, to kind of deepen up the look. I'm gradually going to be using darker colors as I go because I kind of want to have that defined and I want it to be light on the top and dark on the bottom like at the base of my eyelid. So we're going to gradually work towards that. So now I'm going to use a hot pink in the Take Me to Brazil palette. And I'm going to also put that in my crease right there at the base. And then I'm going to take the red in the Take Me to Brazil palette. And I'm going to just blend that a little lower, like lower down. So 
it can kind of um, get ready for the red I'm about to put on my lid. Um, now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm not cutting my eyes. I'm not um, doing a cut crease or anything. I'm just putting concealer as my base so my red can be more vibrant. When I first did this look, um, the red didn't stick much because of the fact that it's a matte. And so I needed the red to be really vibrant. So I kind of... Um, ended up doing it this way and since I didn't put a lot on it it blended seamlessly so that's what we want and you kind of want to pack the red on a little higher um, than your eyelids so it can all blend So then I'm going to blend everything out a little bit more. And then I'm going to use um, the red and the hot pink and I'm going to kind of blend it out in my crease once again. You basically want it blended so well that people have to actually look to see that it's, you know, two or more colors. And I'm not the best blender in the world, but I think this is pretty good. So now I'm going to take my The Ordinary Primer. I don't remember the full name, but I'm going to co um, comment it in the description box. So I'm going to use my Fit Me foundation and um, a little bit of LA Colors pigment it's a gold pigment I don't know if this worked or not but I kind of want it like a dewy shiny look I don't know but like a glowy look I don't know if it worked or not but I did it anyway so yeah I'm going to blend that on my face um I kind of have a trouble sometimes figuring out if I want to match my body or my face um this foundation is darker than my face but um I forgot and so I didn't darken it or anything but um, I do like the matching my face match my body foundation better now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to kind to um, carve out my brows with the foundation so it'll match better and I won't have halo eye I meant halo eyebrow <clears throat> And I'm going to take my um, LA Girl Concealer first. This one is really similar to my skin tone. And so it doesn't really highlight that much. Um, but I'm, I am going to mix it with my Fit Me. And the reason why I did this is because I want my eye under eyes to be highlighted. But this concealer is very light. So I don't want to just add this on or I'm going to be looking like I have a gray cast under my face so I kind of do this trick so I can have a highlighted look but it's not too highlighted and I'm going to highlight all my highlighted areas right there And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Transition Powder in the color medium and I'm going to 
set under my eye. Now this um, powder is a bit darker so I'm using my Ruby Kisses um, palette again and I'm using the banana powder to highlight my parts of my face that um, might have got lost in the sauce. I'm going to take my Black Radiance face powder and I'm going to set my face. Like I said, everything will be in the description below because I don't remember the names of all the products. Then I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses Contour Palette again, and I'm going to contour my po uh, face. And my nose. My forehead. And then I'm going to take pink first, and I'm going to um, blend that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the red on the outer corner sort of and then I'm going to blow that out with my brush and then I'm going to take I think this is the Maybelline um, and probably, I don't remember I'll have it in the description box but I love marker eyeliners because they're easy for the first you know lines of the eyeliner like it's so quick and it's very clean then you can use like the liquid liners that there, there we go so then you can use your liquid liner you can touch it up you can make it darker I like to do that with my elf liner and I kind of make it sharper make it darker touch it up this is my favorite way to do eyeliner now Now I'm going to take my Mica Cosmetics, it's basically a pigment, and I'm going to put that in my inner corners, and then I'm going to put it under my brows. I have the name of it in the description box, it's really pretty. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. mascara and put on some falsies. And I don't have um, the name of, of the falsies, but just get some big old dramatic falsies and you're good, girl. This look has to have dramatic falsies to, for it to look good. Right now I'm going to take my Hard Candy uh, Velvet Matte Cream, I think it's called, in the color Delilah. It's gorgeous. And now I'm going to take my um, NYX Cosmetics Lip Gloss, Butter Gloss, in the color Red Wine Truffle. I love this combo together. It just they just both complement each other so well. I'm gonna take my Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna use the gold highlighter and then I'm gonna use two um, eyeshadows. It's my favorite way to highlight right now. And I'm gonna kind of um, highlight the tops of my eyebrows so when the light hits it, it's gonna be like bam. And I'm gonna highlight my nose. I love that button nose. And then I'm gonna take those eyeshadows and highlight my inner corners some more because I love, love, love to be like blinding. I'm gonna take that blush palette and I don't ever use blush, but I'm using it today because I needed it. But as you can see, I put too much. I felt like the blush went well with the look. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. It took me a while because there's a lot of blending involved. But thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay tuned for the next video and I will see you later. Bye, I love you.